Hi, Aries. Fellow Aries. I just had the funnest reading with Leos. <laughs> Did. <laughs> I'm tired, so I'm like slap happy. And I told them, you know, after this, I'm, I'm probably not going to get these up until tomorrow sometime. I'm going to go to bed. I did our weekly reading and it was long. I'm, I think it's just, it's still not processed. It's, you know, 61%. And then I did Sagittarius and Leo and, and now it's us. But uh, <laughs> I, I, I said I shouldn't really be doing readings when I'm tired, right? But then I thought, you know what? But sometimes I'm a channel. So, I mean, the messages come through me regardless. But uh, sometimes when I'm tired, the stuff comes out of me that, and I, and I, and I um, pick up on things that I wouldn't normally pick up on. And it happened for Sagittarius. I just weird things popped into my head. And they got messages that pfft, I don't know why it came to me, but they were really good messages. And they had to do with what was going on. And then with Leo's, sex came into it. And that was fun. Oh, oh my God. I had no idea. That was fun. And it wasn't me that just popped up with it. Spirit did. But I rolled with it. All right, for us, who do we want to work with, you guys? Who do we want to work with? Oh, no, no. You know what? I'm going to straight up say no to spirit. Because I, I don't know if, if it's just in my head. But I keep getting the Oracle of Shadows and Light. And I'm just like, I'm done with Oracle of Shadows and Light. So we're going to go to the Magdalene Oracle. And I'm sorry if you guys are like, no, I want Shadows and Light. It's just that that's all we've been doing. So the Magdalene Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. I like Tony Carmine Salerno. Correct for neutrality on all levels. What will be a most beneficial message for Aries people? Okay. Here's one of them anyway. Past lives. Now, who just got past lives? I hope it wasn't you guys. Somebody just got past lives. So, what's going on in your life right now is you have possibly got some issues that are being resolved in your dream time that stem from a past life and if you don't have memories of your dreams right now you don't have to worry about it um they're being resolved and healed during your dream time now it doesn't have to be a past life as in centuries ago it could be your earlier childhood something is being resolved from that time it could be earlier adulthood also, you are possibly connecting with someone that you have a past life relationship with. I know I am. And that's the familiarity that you have. And you're drawn together because you've made arrangements to meet again in this life. And you're, you're resolving things. You might, have, um, you might have been enemies in a past life. which might, uh, Or you might have hurt one another in a past life. Which might... Or, or one might have hurt the other or left the other or uh, lost the other. And in, in this life, you're going to complete whatever it is or remedy it. And so it may, may help you understand why you might have strange feelings connected to somebody in your life. Sometimes uh, a, a love partner in this life can be a family member in a past life. Or sometimes... There can be someone that actually was a enemy in a past life that's a family member in this life. It's really strange. But it's all about karmic lessons. It's also about sometimes we have issues that we carry into this life from a past life. And it has nothing to do with the person that we're dealing with. It's just something that we have an issue with from a past life. And it's triggered because it's coming up to be healed and released. So you can ask for help with that. You can ask, you can do a past life regression or you can, um, you, may, you may be fascinated in this life by, you know, Greek mythology or, you know, the Egyptian pyramids. You may have had a past life there. Look at the things that you're interested in this life now. I've had dreams of past lives and I know I was in Pharaoh's house in one. I was, um, I was in a, penal colony in off the coast of Australia with somebody I um, I don't know if I lived in that past life or if I was just connecting with someone from there since I'm a medium but things like that are popping up so past life is um, just know that like I said there could be reasons that you're going through things in this life like if you're having difficulty with money 
you could have taken a vow of poverty you could in a past life you could have lived as a monk you could you know what i'm going to do i'm going to get a past life deck and i'm going to see how you're being affected in this life because of a past life oh i didn't think see no i didn't think of that the last time i popped up so this is intriguing to me. Like you may be somebody who's, who likes to draw certain things and you're fascinated with that. Why did that come to your mind? Because you may have lived in that time period. But if you have, like I had a vow of poverty that I took, I know I was, I've been, I've always been a, um, I've always been a, a warrior or a healer. Um, most of the time I was a, I was a medicine woman. And, but I've been a warrior as well, which makes sense with the Aries. And then the Pisces is the healer, right? The intuitive one. But um, let's see what comes up for you guys. For past lives, what comes up for Leos? Ooh, that was really, really loud. Aha, uh -huh. interesting that I said Egypt. So, because I do. I definitely have past life connection to, to Egypt. So, that may not come as a surprise to you. You may look at that and go, wow. So, pay attention to what to what comes up now in your dreams. I'd be curious to see. And as I said, if there's something in your life, in this life, that's a trouble for you, it's something that's asking to be healed. And its roots are buried in Egyptian times. You could have been a slave there, right? If you're somebody that's constantly working for everybody else and you're not getting paid what you should be paid or you're working for free, you may have been a slave or a servant in someone else's house. You know, if you're drawn there, you, you've always wanted to travel there, you're fascinated, like I have Anubis and um, Bastet in my house here. I'm connected to that. I said I was in the, the house, Pharaoh's house. And I was connected in a past life with my twin. It was interesting. I'd be curious to what he picks up. Um, it could be anything to do with astronomy, right? They're, they were very into the stars. Or maybe the thought of traveling to Egypt is scary to you or you don't want to go there. I don't have a desire to go there. Isn't that interesting? So many people want to go to the pyramids and go there and I don't. To me, it's dirty and it's a, it's a depressing, sad. Uh, to me, that's sadness. What, what the people had to go through to build that. I just, I don't know. I don't have a desire to go there. It might have been that I watched somebody hurt in a place like that. So... This is interesting. So I want to ask for other, other Aries. Other Aries. Am I talking to Aries? Am I talking to Aries? I am. No wonder it's coming up as Egypt. Did I say Leo? Sorry, you guys. How interesting. So Egypt. I did. <laughs> I, do have a, I do have a connection to Egypt. Oh, God. I am tired. Okay, let's do one more, and then I'm going to go to something different. Angels. <laughs> yeah. Well, this resonates with me. How does it resonate with you? Angels are working with you. What is, my re what is my business called? The Angels Whisper. So this is telling you that your angels have been with you all through your past lives. You have not been alone. You've had your angels walking with you. And each time, in each lifetime, you have had a connection to your angels. They've helped you. You have possibly and most likely functioned as an angel when you were in heaven. There's different roles of spirit creatures, you know. So you have a deep love for angels. That makes sense to me. And I've said before, and I, and I don't know if people have been offended, but I have said, I know I'm an angel walking. I know that I am. Because I was an angel in spirit, and I am an angel here. To me, the angels are my brothers and sisters. I say that all the time. So I do have a deep love for the angels. And you, most likely as well, feel this way. You may recall certain things. I've seen myself in spirit in front of the high council, giving an accounting of the work being done. So if you want to know a little bit more about this call, ask spirit to show you when you're sleeping. And you know, sometimes we don't recall, but it's in the recesses of our minds. It's floating around subconsciously and you'll be given what you need. What's so cool? is that um, the specific angels that are being spoken of is Archangel Michael, which, of course, we work with all the time to give us courage and strength and protection. And, and Raphael is the healing angel and the emotional angel, right? And then we've got 
Archangel Raziel, which helps us understand our spiritual secrets. We got Archangel Uriel, which is the angel of light, to, sh to shed light and illuminate. We've got Archangel um, Ariel, that is, I said Uriel about the light, but Ariel is the angel of animals and finances. And uh, we've got Archangel Zadkael, which is a twin soul angel. He is a twin. So understand that archangels can be with everyone at, at the same time. We don't, we're not hurting to call them. We're not pulling them away from anyone else. So if you ever do need help for anything, call upon your archangels. I feel very, very close to my archangels. I hope you do too. So I'm going to go to a completely different card for you guys and for me. And I am going to the Oracle of Shadows and Light because I was told to go there. And it's not for me to tell the angels. No, when I'm being told to guide, guide it to go to a card for us. So, Aries people. <laughs> Correct for neutrality. I just, it's just funny that this deck always comes up for us. Correct for neutrality on all levels. It's because, you know why? It's because Spirit knows I love this deck. So I'm going to, the messages resonate because I understand them. Because the, the deck just works with me. Makes sense. Okay. Oh my God. This is amazing, you guys. We got this today. So double emphasis. Holy granola. Okay. So we just got this in our weekly reading. This was our card. So to get this again... Is no mistake the stress that's being put on the fact that we need to set appropriate boundaries. Wow. We don't want to fight. We don't want to fight. We don't, we, we don't want to be the bad guy. We don't want to... It's hard for us to, to say, you know, you're overstepping my boundaries. It's hard for us to say, no, I've done enough. I'm not going to continue this. You know, you've got to do this. It's wrong for us to, not wrong, but it's hard for us to not want to give, especially empaths, you know, we, we're giving all the time of our, of our energy. But right now, Spirit's saying that we need to take the sword up. We need to. We need to fight the good fight. We need to stand up for what we believe in. Maybe if, if people are going to question us or are going to come against us or going to try and belittle our stand on something or um, negate our belief system or say that what we're doing is not not correct but spirit's saying no you know what you got to stand up we don't have to be aggressive but we're definitely going to stand our ground and do what needs to be done because spirit is saying that truce time is up the the sweetness and light and and tr and wishing to not you know rock the boat that's done people have been taking over They've been wanting what we've worked hard for. People have been trying taking advantage of us. They, there's been a lot of jealousy, a lot of um, manipulation going on behind the scenes. People wanting to take what we have worked hard for, and it's not okay. And we're talking about energetically as well. Even if it's one we, ones we love, even if it's our family, it's not okay. And this, the, for us to get this twice is absolutely confirming that when we say, no, I'm sorry, that's fine that you're my family. That's fine that you're my best friend. That's fine that I love you. It doesn't matter. I'm saying enough is enough. So we're not out of line. This is nice to know that, you know what? No, standing up for yourself, you, you don't have to go crawling back and apologize for speaking your truth and standing up and being who you are. This is about cutting cords for people that are draining your energy. This is about cutting away people that are pushing your buttons. And you may not like to do this, and it doesn't feel good to do this. I'd rather be friends with people. You know, I'd rather not. But right now, we have to reshape things. We've got to reprioritize, and we've got to take action in the areas of our life that have to be changed in order to deal with things properly. Now, there could be an issue with your health. And you're going to turn a corner with that. Whatever it is, it might have shown you whatever you went through or what you've been dealing with perhaps. It might have shown you why that was going on. 
Why, why did my body go through this? Because I wasn't loving it. I wasn't taking care of it. It served you. Or it could have just been, you know, there's parts of, of, of myself that I was neglecting, that I just, I felt like I was strong, you know, Aries warrior, raw, right? That's the bummer about strong people, is that everybody expects you to always be strong. Nobody thinks about a strong person needing them, needing a hand, being sensitive and hurting and in pain and, and, and wanting a hug and, and being thought of. People don't think about that for, for people that brave through and, you know, fight, the fighter of the underdog. Nobody thinks about the fact that in Aries, we fall apart too. We have feelings too. We're sensitive too. We deserve love and respect as well. So right now, this is about a new set of priorities based on reality, not on, you know, I'm going to be Joan of Arc. So right now, this also is what I'm saying. This is good for us, but it also could apply to somebody in our life. There could be somebody in your life, and I know this, that others have been taking advantage of, pulling from, treating with disrespect, and I come to their defense, and they need healing, and they need love. And I understand that, and they're, they are connected with me because we mirror one another. We resonate. And so even though I may be exhausted and others have done this to me, I will defend and stand there and stand up and love and protect the one that I love that others are taking advantage of. So it goes both ways, right? All of these messages are us or someone in our life. So is there someone in your life that others are doing this to? So could that maybe help you understand maybe how they've been behaving or what they've gone through? It might, it might be easier to find compassion in a situation, forgiveness in a situation, if you understand what another has gone through. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the little messages to wrap it up. I'm going to go to this one. And those two. Rejoice and celebrate. Heck yeah. Take time to feel the love that surrounds you. I like that. Thank you. Right? Because didn't I just say, you know, no one thinks about strong people needing that. Spirit does, though. Spirit does. They know what we've been through. They know what we do. And they know what we deserve. And they'll make sure that we get it. But we have to also ask for it. Right? Sex. <laughs> Somebody wants sex with you. Or do you want sex with somebody else? Heck yeah. How fun. Take time to feel the love that surrounds you. Sex isn't just about sex. Sex is a way to express your love. Rejoice and celebrate. Hell yeah, bring it. You want to give me a time frame? <laughs> I've been celibate for four and a half years. Uh, passion. Passion comes up. So see, it's not just sex. There's passion there. So understand that. Sometimes people think, you know, they, they get it wrong and they think that it's just about sex. So this is a nice message to know that, no, it isn't just about sex. This person is passionate about you. I like that. Or maybe you need to work on that, discover the passion in your life again. Or maybe you need to not just make it be just about sex. I mean, there's a lot of people that are watching these videos, you know, men, women. It's not just about wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Where's the passion? Right? I want to see passion with that sex. I'm into it big time as long as I get both. Right? Too aggressive, slow down. What is with this? Oh, I get this. I get this. This is why I was laughing with Leos. Too aggressive, slow down. In sex. Don't be so aggressive. Don't be so rough. You know? Bring the passion in. Take the time to feel the love. Feel the love. That, that makes sense. I like that. I like that. I hope that my love is reading, watching that. Ooh. Oh, I said when, and we got a number, three. <laughs> three days, three weeks. Please don't be three months. Three, full circle completion. Three, the Ascended Masters are working with you. Two more. We get two more. Very attracted. Oh, I like. This is awesome, you guys. Not only do they have passion for us, or you them, but they're very attracted to us. That's why they want our sex. 
And they wanna, you know what? They wanna slow down. They wanna have it slow. They wanna take it slow because it means something. That is fucking amazing. We get one more. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Jeez, something must be changing in my life. <laughs> Cause I'm an Aries too. Okay. Big happy change is coming, yay! <laughs> oh, I like our reading, you guys. This is a good note to close on. I think I'll just leave it right there. Thank you, spank you very much. Spank you very much. Ooh, a number fell on the ground. Let's see what it is. 10. Okay, 10 hours, 10 days. The number 10, the, what month is this? October, ooh. How many more days do we have before the month ends? <gasps> is it Sunday? It is, one, two, three. We have three more days before the end of the month. Oh my God, that makes sense to me because that's my 21st anniversary. My twin soul and I, where did it go? The number three? Three more days is, is October 31st and it'll be 21 years since the day we met. Wow. Hope you're watching this reading, babe. Make it happen on our anniversary. Love you guys. Have a great night. We'll speak again soon.